What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today, you guessed it, another Yeezy Slide colorway review. Yes, sir, man. Welcome to Sneaker Notes, everybody, man. I really appreciate it, man. Hit subscribe. This is where the fire lives. In this video today, we're going to do a re re review on the Yeezy Slide Slate Marine. Now, I changed the artwork thumbnail on this video about 72 times because I thought Slate Marine was Slate Gray. If you look at pictures online, they look exactly the same, guys. So I had to do my research on both. And I still need to get the slate gray in hand because in pictures they look just like the marine joints. So I got these because Finish Line gave me early access to these last week. So I purchased them. I think y'all know how that go by now. Um, I brought them. And then this morning... They gave me early access again. So I'm like, is these Yeezy slides coming out again? And that's when I realized, oh, it's two different colorways. But if you go on go and you go on StockX and you look at the stock picture, it's really no difference between this gray and the marine. It looks totally alike, but we got to get both in hand, like I said. Um, I've been talking too long. Let's unbox them. Yes, sir. So you still get that slide Yeezy box, which was super dope when it first came out. I'm on record, I'm telling y'all, I remember when slides used to just come on a little baby clothes hanger. We never used to get boxes, but this is the box, guys. So it reads Yeezy slide. The ID is 2349. And I don't know if this is German or if they just abbreviate it, but it say SLTMRN. That's the only colorway we have there. I believe the SLT was there for slate, but I'm not too sure, guys. Same pullout tab. Made famous by the Jordan 11, we have to say. And let's start with it. Here's a 360 view of the Yeezy Slate Marine, guys. Not gray, Marines. So nothing's really changed. Um, I just keep reading that they added one piece. Like this is supposed to be like one piece. That's something I never really checked out in the Yeezy. But it's a single plate EVA foam. Just one piece, guys, makes this slide. I guess that's why the price point is stays the same. It doesn't go any higher, but I like that. Of course, if you own the Yeezy, you know, boom, you get that one Adidas three-stripe logo. There's no other logo in the sneaker, but you in the slide, but you get that one. Um, it does have the size guide at the top. I remember a lot the size guide used to be in the inside, but that's dead on in the top here. The material, the foam feels the same, guys. Nothing's changed here. They're going to open um, one piece right there. I do see Yeezy writing in the inside. Can I get y'all guys to see that? Probably not, but it does in the inside. It says Yeezy made in China. I don't remember nothing. See, I don't remember my old ones. Let, let's check it out. Okay, I'm bugging. The old ones did say that too. Yeezy made in China with the size. So we good here. But back to the Slate Marines. It does look gray. But it do look like they just added a piece of blue, some kind of tonal blue to uh, get it going. So I, I guess I get it. But I, I, f I feel like these, they shouldn't have came out too close together. Like, you should have waited a while. They're going to bottom OG. Nothing's changed there. Right side here also has the side sticker there. So no more side sticker in the inside. They're right there at the top. And same thing, guys. Uh, D the logo. Nothing's changed here. So far as sizing, guys, like I told y'all in my last slide video, 
the Taj Moo joints. I've got a size 9 and they fit perfect. I wear 10 and a half and the size 9 fit perfect. As far as the Yeezy slides, I went with a 9 too and they're small. So Yeezy slides do go down a size and a half. So you got a size and a half up for a Yeezy slide if you want that good fit. As far as the Taj Moo, Salib Benberry joints, I went undersized and it fit perfect. Yeah, so nothing is changing with the Yeezy slide from release to release. I showed you the glow green, the orange, the blue. The, the sizing is, 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 is still a little stiff, man. And I think it's just one piece that makes it a little more stiff than other slides. So you got to go upper size, guys. One size or a size and a half. Me personally, I would say just one size because you don't really want your, your, your slide flopping off you. So I wouldn't go too crazy high up, but, but one size should get you that true fit. As far as these, uh, right now they're at the bottom of my Yeezy slide list um, because I, I don't know, man. Like He just came out with the blue we were looking for and then... Came out with the great after these. These fall somewhere in the middle. Let me know. I think I paid uh, $80 shit from finish line with the early access joint, which isn't bad with everything going up in the economy after COVID. Yeezy slide stayed at the same price tag, so I like that. If you go to go to StockX, you might be looking at $90, $95. So there's no resale value here, but I don't know why it was ever resale value on slides in the first place. I like that you could get your pair in your size for a little over retail. I really love that. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about that. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Everybody, get rich.